Hello, good morning. Welcome to JS Testing Academy. Uh, welcome to the next part of video in the J Meter series where we are going to see how to do spike testing. Spike testing means sudden increase and see how the application is responding. Suddenly increasing and seeing and suddenly decrease, decreasing and see with more number of users. Okay, if you put more number of users into the application, how it responds. Checking that is called as a spike testing. Okay, so now we are going to do or I take an API and see how uh, by increasing more number of users at a sudden point and see what happens. Okay, so now uh, for that, before that, we need to install one plugin. I already have the plugin in me, so but you should also install that. That's why I'm showing you. Go on, you should go to available plugins and search custom thread group. Okay, so I've already installed in my machine. That's why it's not showing in the available plugins. You should uh, see if I go to install plugin, it's showing custom thread group, right? You make sure you are searching in the next tab that is called available plugins custom thread group. Okay, so you already did this in our uh, right uh, JMeter. That's why. Okay, uh, in custom thread group, we need ultimate thread group. That is the most important thing. That is our agenda here. Custom thread group we need ultimate thread group okay so make sure you're installing custom thread group ultimate uh, thread group it automatically come okay now let me go to test plan create a test plan spike testing spike demo s p i k e uh, spike demo okay I add the thread, thread group. Now I'm going to add one thread group. I'll go here. You see J, uh, JP and GC ultimate thread group. We need to add this thread group. Make sure I'm adding this one. Let me click it. You see a graph like uh, graph is been opened here. Okay. So you can see uh, right expected parallel users count is been added here. Okay. So now what we need to do is we should click add row okay and you see you can see right you can uh, how many threads you want you can add it for example uh, first i'll add uh, one thread uh, right which is one 10 users hitting next i will add another thread where 100 users hitting and next another thread which is 300 users hitting all together uh, 300 110 right almost like 410 users might hit at the same time and we can see how it is responding at the same time we can increase more number of users and we can see for example let me add 10 users first right i am going to add 10 users in the uh, delay will be like one second for delay for each user and uh, right the ramp up is i'll give five seconds okay let me give five and after ramping up for 10 users it will hold for at least uh, 30 seconds let me give 30 seconds and ramp down at me give 5 seconds okay so now what happens no uh, so 10 users are going to get delayed one second and for every user after 5 seconds the second user is going to come okay and then if you uh, it is going to hold for 30 seconds then it's going to ramp down for 5 seconds you can see the graph right 10 user one second delay and then after oh, five seconds another second user is going to come after five seconds third user is going to come after five seconds fourth user like that is going to increase for 10 users after five seconds and after that it is going to uh, right give a concurrency for 30 seconds then it's going to ramp down for five seconds each okay so this is one 10 user i'm giving next i'm going to add another that count and here I'm going to add with 50 users 50 okay now same I'm going to give one second delay okay here I'm going to give uh, some three seconds delay okay I'm here I'm going to give some 30 seconds let me let it be 30 see the graph is continuously changing right and I write shut down ramp down time let me give three seconds or something like that uh, three seconds okay see totally 60 users are hitting 
and uh, right uh, the graph is completely changed here okay like that i can have another add row also if i need right so another 100 i can give so totally almost like 160 users are uh, right are going to hit the particular endpoint and they are going to see the graph is means uh, totally changed here okay so like that we can increase more number of users at a certain point of time and we can test it okay so this is called as right spike testing okay so now you can go in a test plan add up right a http request add a url or add a endpoint base uri like we did in the last time right you can add a base uri uh, we can add a uh, right resource then you can test right with this uh, way okay and uh, let me add and show you maybe why not right two minutes back right let me add an http request one minute let me add and show you i'll take a base uri okay i'll add the resource ah okay now i'll add the view results tree here okay let me uh, run this right the request and response let me see you can see the view results tree you see right it is now we can see right all the how many users we gave right 100 160 users will be hitting it here okay continuously right suddenly 160 users will hit it and we can able to get the request and the response okay as we gave right there is going to be a 5 second delay 30 minutes concurrency and 5 second ramp down and right 3 second ramp down okay so like that we can increase more number of users and we can get check the request and the response okay so hope this video is useful for you and you can get the response data also okay catch you soon in the next part of video have a nice day bye